In today's video, we're going to talk about um, stimulating your inner ear, your vestibular apparatus, which is what I talked about in the first CT video, and the reason that we need to stimulate that by doing getting used to movement is that we want to um, reduce some sometimes the uh, overreaction that we get from our inner ear uh, when we move. Um, so often people are very good at walking in a straight line, but it's when they come to turn that they might start to feel a little bit dizzy or feel unsure of themselves and that's when people start to hold on um, quite heavily to things. And that's when, if you're holding on, you're not really feeling your legs or using your legs as balance. And of course, if you need to hold on to a frame or something for your balance, of course you must do that. But just be aware of, of, of using those arms as little as you need to for safety, because the more you can use your legs for your balance, the safer actually in the long run you will be. So this is just a very simple exercise. What I ask you to do is that you work it up gradually. Remember the rules. The rules are that it's supposed to be done with a bit of curiosity. It's supposed to be fun. You should be able to do it with a smile on your face and not with practicing um, anything that feels in, in any way fearful. Um, and because we want to, in the long run, bring back some of the joy of movement, so that movement is a, is a fun and positive thing for you to do. So, I like to use the kitchen because you've got a nice firm surface that's of a good height. Of course there are dangers in the kitchen, so don't be doing these things uh, when you've got hot surfaces or hot pans on the go. Um, I don't actually have a kettle because I've got one of those clever turn on, turn off things. Um, but obviously don't do it anywhere near where you've got a kettle with hot um, water in or anything that you might knock over um, during the course of it. Have a chair in the room if you need that to rest on, that's absolutely fine. So with this exercise it's very simple. It's standing ideally in the corner so that you've got nice firm surface um, to use for your safety. If you haven't got that then of course you're fine uh, standing. Uh, just using uh, one area um, and what I want you to, be, to begin with doing is just get that feeling of grounding through your feet where you're feeling your heels on the floor, your toes on the floor and where you're giving your brain an opportunity to listen to what your feet are saying. So I'm going to turn around for this bit. It's just finding you can do it either placing out, if that feels okay. Sometimes a big surface, big area in front of you, being empty can feel a little bit fearful. Or do it uh, facing the other way. I'm going to face this way so you can hear me better. Um, so standing, getting yourself grounded, feeling your feet on the floor, and just begin by moving your head. Now, if you can do this with having your hands lifted from the surface, then that's all the better, that's one progression. If you can do it with your hands relaxed by your side, then that's another. So within this space, get used to moving and notice how much you can move and still be able to be smiling and enjoying it. Don't push it to the point where you feel, start to feel dizzy or where it feels unpleasant or you start to feel frightened that you might um, be at risk. So very gently, if this is enough movement, that's fine. And play around a little bit. We're looking up at the ceiling and looking down at the floor. And again, be careful of any tightness you might have in your back or in your neck. Only go as far as feels nice. Do not push into pain or discomfort. Do not push into fear or unpleasantness. So this is essentially the exercise for today, but it, you can incorporate then a little bit more turning. So seeing whether you can turn all the way around, being aware, being careful to go slowly, talking all the time through your feet. And gradually working so that you don't need your hands to be touching on the surface. The more you can practice and become confident 
returning, the happier you'll feel when you get up from your chair and you're moving to somewhere else. Quite often I see people rush at the next chair that they're going to because they're fearful of what happens in between. What we want is for you to enjoy that movement, to feel quite happy about that walking, turning process and sitting down process so that it feels nice again, so that it feels like a quite natural, um, pleasant, um, unchallenging experience. So from here, of course, you can then, once you feel really happy about it, pop your uh, radio on and maybe do some dancing to it. So this is from the point where you can become a little bit more curious and a little bit more investigating into how you move. But this is a lovely place to begin to work on um, getting your movement to be much more rotational and out of the straight um, walking and, and, and stiffness that sometimes we get locked into um, when we start to lose our confidence with our balance. I hope that you have fun, uh, stay safe, um, and I hope that you find the joy of movement uh, within this surface. More to come from the kitchen on other